Hi, I'm Rod. Welcome to my channel. Today I am listening to Pink Floyd and they will be performing the Nile song. So, here we go. That was Pink Floyd and the Nile song. Oh, that was great. Um, in uh, those uh, early albums, um, Nick Mason's drumming's drumming was great. Um, Um, it was in his later albums too, but um, he was uh, much more of a forceful drummer when in the early albums. Um, what is it? Bass was great in this. Gilmore's vocals and his guitar were great as well. I was getting vibes of like hard rock, um, heavy psychedelic rock. It's a little bit grungy. Um, it's probably the, I would think it would be the heaviest song that I've heard of that from Pink Floyd. I believe it's one of their lesser known songs because it comes from a soundtrack. 
um, but it has been covered by numerous bands including uh, The Human Instinct, Government Mule, Melvins, a bit about them, the song. Pink Floyd are an English rock band formed in London in 1965 gaining an early following as one of the first British psychedelic groups, they were distinguished by their extended compositions, sonic experiments, philosophical lyrics, and elaborate live shows. They became a leading band of the progressive rock genre, cited by some as the greatest progressive rock band of all time. More is their third studio album and first soundtrack album, released on the 13th of July. 1969 in the United Kingdom on EMI Columbia and on the 9th of August 1969 in the United States by Tower Records. The soundtrack is for the film of the same name which was primarily filmed on location in Ibiza and the directorial debut of Barbara Schroeder. It was the band's first album without former lead singer Sid Barrett. The album was a top 10 hit in the UK but received mixed reviews. Several songs were performed in Pink Floyd concerts over the following years. The Nile song is track 2 written by Roger Waters it was released as a single in 1969, but only in France, Japan and New Zealand. While Pink Floyd never played the song in concert, Nick Mason's Sourceful of Secrets performed it in 2018. The song's style has been described as heavy metal, acid rock and hard rock. Uh, so I enjoyed that. I thought that was a great song. Um, yeah. hope you enjoyed the video if you did and you would like to support the channel the best way to do that is by liking subscribing and commenting it all helps and i hope to see you in another video soon thanks for watching